Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. For people who are looking for that extra help and, you know, they don't, they don't want to go to a home health agency and go through all that, we were so lucky to have an organization, uh, and it's a great name because we always hear about the moms doing everything, but this is called PAPA, Granddad's excuse me, grandkids on demand, which is so wonderful. And I have the the entrepreneur and the person who founded this, Austin Birch, uh, on our phone calling in from Miami, right? Yeah, so actually uh, I am not the founder. I'm actually just the director over here. The founder was Andrew Parker. Oh, okay. Well, I just gave you a raise there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. But so you're the director, and that's really a wonderful thing to, to be of this. I think it is so amazing that you have, that's all been put together, and you like working with those kids, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well, the kids and the seniors, just the whole demographic between the two of them really is just amazing. Yeah, they, uh, now, does it, do you do the hiring of the kids? I mean, because that's probably a very important aspect of this, isn't it? Yeah, so actually we do all the onboarding and vetting in-house. They go through a diligent uh, vetting process, a system of questionnaires, personality tests, background screenings. Uh, so we like to call, like, you know, they, they really make this pop a pal mold. Um, so they're just, they're just these type A individuals really just excited and uh, enthused about doing what they're uh, doing in the assistance. Well, let's just tell people who've never, you know, heard of you. I know they're reading about you in Boomer Times. and But let's just make believe that nobody knows what you do. Why don't you just tell them, give them the whole, the whole spiel here. <laughs> Sure. So what we do, uh, we provide a platform that we connect college students to senior citizens to really, you know, connect through this just amazing intergenerational bond. And they can assist with just daily tasks, whether it's transportation, going to the grocery store, at the grocery store, helping dividing and conquering, going through that list, then putting the groceries away with you. Um, All, you know, during this whole process with amazing companionship. They'll go to your doctor's appointments with you. It's, you know, having someone else there with you, peace of mind, while not having to worry about driving home after the appointment. They can help you take notes of those appointments. Uh, they can also help in and around the home. So if that means lighthouse work, uh, dishes, laundry, and extra assistance, sweeping, or even helping set up your iPhones, your iPads, or any of those, you know, new uh, technology devices that are coming out every six months. Uh, They're going to be there every step of the way, extremely patient, really fun and enthused. And so these students, so everyone knows, they're traditionally uh, nursing, medical, or hospitality students. So aside from their part-time pay, they're doing this as a resume builder. So you're really getting just a positive attitude from right when they arrive. Yeah, that's right. And, And now, are you providing women as well as men? Yep. So um, all of our uh, pals, they're both women and men. Uh, we do allow for the member of the senior to request because we do understand some people just feel more um, comfortable around, you know, different sexes. So that is, um, you know, something you can always ask. Yeah, right. That's um, <laughs> I'm sure that you know, they have something in their mind, but it doesn't mean that that's what has to happen because anybody, you know, who wants to have a driver or to have someone go to the grocery store with them or or buy their food they don't really care it's just i guess um maybe they have a little prejudice in a sense they're not comfortable with the opposite sex at their age sure and 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 we actually uh we we go as far as we do have a premium model whereas um essentially once they develop a rapport or relationship with their uh students this allows them to only have the same select four individuals always coming. So it really does become like that grandkid on demand that we advertise because then you're having these same individuals come and you really just build that relationship on top of these, you know, assistance with chores. You're getting great, you know, how's your day been? It's really building just a relationship and a bond. Yeah, I'm sure they actually become friends. It's not like a oh, job yeah. anymore. No, no, and, and that's what's great between the two of them is it's not looked at as a job, and that's not what we want it to be looked at. It's supposed to be a fun social experience for both generations. So, um, okay, let me just tell everybody who you are again. 
And, uh, of course, this is Austin Birch, and he is uh, the director, right? Engage the member right. engagement director of Papa Grandkids right. On Demand. And let me give people some information so that you can call. If you're listening now, make this. Remember, this is radio talk. It really is, is um, pencil talk radio. We want you to get your pencil, write it down, put it in a little book, because when you need it, you need it. And you'll never remember the phone number otherwise. The number to call is 877-394-3598. That's 877-394-3598. And you can get them on the web, and that would be, um, <clears throat> that would be Papa, sorry, joinpapa.com forward slash boomer. Is that right? That's right. Okay. <laughs> so this is a wonderful service. You know, before I met you, uh, actually, I haven't met you officially, although you were at the expo. So I actually was not at the expo. Oh, so your people were there. Uh, I believe we did have an individual there. Yeah, you did. I, okay, so I didn't, I must have, uh, I must have thought that, but someday I'd like to meet you because I have to applaud you for getting involved in this. What did you do before this, Austin? Um, so actually, this was my first job out of college, but before this, um, I do have uh, a lot of background in basically marketing. Um, I did a lot of things with Harley Davidson and Mastercraft. So what I call is a really an enthusiast-driven brand. So that really translated into what I'm doing today, where it's something you're proud of, you're something you're enthused about. Is you know every one of them, you know every one of our members, the seniors that sign up for Papa, has the same same type of experience as someone would be, you know, purchasing almost like a Harley or Mastercraft where they're excited about it. So yep. we provide really an exciting experience, and we like to translate that across the board. And when uh, you get finished, or not you, but when the person who's there with one of the uh, elders, or it could even be younger people who just can't get around at the moment, you know, broken hip or something, uh, do you require some sort of a, um, a letter or a recommendation or something to make sure that everybody was happy? So are you talking about on a daily basis no, or no. as a whole? As a whole. So uh, actually what we do, we, we kind of go a step further than a letter. We consistently do uh, calls both to the PALS, the students, as well as seniors, collecting um, you know data as far as how your experiences, tell us how we can improve. Um, so we're very in touch with the members and PALS verbally um, so that we can communicate and every day improve. Yeah. And so tell me what the... The biggest compliment. What what do people say? I mean, it, it, they range so all over the place. Um, it, it's really amazing when you hear testimonial from family members, essentially, that we're just you know saving you know you know saving the day, essentially, because um, you you have uh, you know kids of these seniors who are driving two hours out of their day to go help mom put a load of laundry in. Well, yeah, that's a needed task. But now they're ha having mom with a brand new friend or papa pal able to do that for them. So the, here mom is, you know, meeting someone else, developing a relationship still later in life. Wow. You know, their child has that peace of mind that someone's there, someone's helping mom. But they also don't have to physically be there. So they save that two hours for their own time as well. Um, so just some scenarios, some of the amazing experiences that we've been able to create since starting this. Um, one visit actually ended in a pal and a senior um, attending a wedding together. So she drove the senior to the wedding. They stayed all day, danced the night away. You know, essentially it was her date, you know. It was just there <laughs> with great. her. Um, and then they, you know, she brought her home. So that was able to, you know, bring grandma out to the wedding that she wow. wasn't going to go to in the first place. And then she got to go there really with, you know, someone she enjoyed. Um, another experience, we have one member who, weekly goes to the beach. Um, she just loves to feel the sand on her beach. As I you know, we are in Florida. We love that. And, uh, you know, as you get older, you know, maybe that drive out to the beach may get a little nerve wracking. Well, now she has someone there with her. They'll walk the, across the beach together, share stories. Um, so th those are some of our, you know, uh, kind of intimate experiences that are just really nice. Um, also then, you know, as simple as just going to the doctors or going to their grocery store not having to pay a premium to get something shipped and delivered to you, you still get to physically be there. Um, so th that's really what we provide. I was just thinking about that. So if I wanted to go to the movies, 
uh, I could literally call you and I could have someone come. They drive me to the movies, even though I could drive, but they drive me to the movies. We'd see the movies together and then they'd bring me home, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> because a lot of people who are single want to go to the movies, but they don't want to go by themselves. Right. So this is this is really great. Did you by any chance see the Crazy Rich Asians? I'm sorry? It's a new movie, Crazy Rich oh. Asians. No, I, I haven't seen that. You should go see it. It's great. <laughs> Just a side <laughs> note, I was thinking of the movies. But now let me uh, go through this. So when you get the students, um, are you? how are you advertising for them? You actually go to the schools or, or do you get other people? They don't have to be students, do they? So student is our, you know, our, 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 one of our strict requirements. And why we do that is because we've kind of found that being a college student gives you that extra motivator. So, they don't, well, you know, as I referenced earlier, they're not doing this just strictly for part-time pay. They're doing this as a resume builder. So as a college student, you are consistently looking for how you can boost your resume. So this is a great experience. Um, as far as recruiting, we're all over the web across all you know platforms you know, you know college students these days they're always searching for jobs so we're across all type of uh, classifieds platforms as well as referrals we uh, provide referral bonuses for the pals um, as well as members so whenever you refer someone either way we do refi- uh, provide a bonus so we do find referrals work really well um, like anything it's a domino effect yeah and I I'm sure what you just said is so one person likes it tells their friends, and all of a sudden, everybody gets to do it because, you know, how else can they make money other than maybe being a waiter or being something? And then it's just not the same. Here, they're going to really get satisfaction. And I bet they talk to their parents about it and, and tell them all about the people they're taking uh, everywhere. Yeah. It's a good idea. I think you've, you know, I, I'm sure other people are looking at it. They're probably going to steal the idea, but you have it down to a science. I really like it. And um, and do you when when these people are finished? So is there a uh, is there any way that they're going to contact them as a friend? Let's say the the person is out of school. Are you okay. do you allow them just to be a friend then? I mean, on their own. Well, I mean, uh, there is no. I mean, the, the only true binding you know that we have. Is not to circumvent Papa, of right, course. You right. Know, don't don't. But as far as the relationships, I mean, you you have. I don't know if you you've been able to review some of the articles we've had from Washington Post and Forbes, as well as several of the other just uh, video interviews we've done. Is you know this isn't a job. This isn't you know your boss calling you. The, the, these seniors, these members, they communicate like I do with my grandparents. Um, so it is. It goes past that. Um, so, yeah, there, there is no, we don't have a boundary that, you know, you can't, you know, speak with them um, because you're really developing that relationship. And that's our goal. Yeah. And I'm sure it's happening because they do get a close, you know, somebody likes one person and, and they just keep calling them to help them. It makes such a difference. I, you know, as a, as a gerontologist, I have to tell you, I, in so many of my articles, I always say, get yourself an advocate, get yourself a friend that will help your life in here. It's not a lot of money either. It's nothing like a home health agency. Can we? Uh, can I ask you what the fee is? Yeah. So depending on our uh, which membership you go with, but regardless, our hourly rate is just fifteen an hour. Fifteen an hour, and that means that the person gets in a car, so they'll they don't get extra for the gas or anything. So they do depend if, if they travel a distance past ten miles. We do uh, uh, charge for gas mileage, so it's 50 cents a mile after the first 10 miles. This is, of course, to help compensate for the gas. Sure, sure, I understand that. All right, well, that, uh, that makes a lot of sense. So let's go back over a few more things. So they take them to doctor's appointments, and can they be an advocate in a way? Can they sit in on the doctor so that if they're going to communicate with the family member, do you allow them to do that? Yeah, so what we do really, so we pair them together. So once, you know, our pairing's kind of been, you know, equated that they are part of this, you know, the visit, we do encourage the family members then to translate, you know, what they would like to happen. So we do often have times, um, have them exchanging information, and that's just something they agree upon. Yeah, that see, that's really important. That's been the big problem that, that the adult children live somewhere else, and then the... Um, the adult 
the elder person goes into the doctor, doesn't get the message exactly right, and then the whole thing isn't the best. But if you could allow that student to hear it and then communicate, that could be extraordinary. Right. Well, I'm um, I'm always very happy to hear companies like you. This was actually this is the first company that has ever not only advertised but that I ever heard about that did this. This was a remarkable. Well, how did it? The man that started it. You you did mention his name, but is there a way? Why did he do it? Was it personal? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it came out of personal need. So Andrew Parker, the founder. And out of need for his grand grandfather, which of course he called Papa. Um, so Papa, uh, Andrew, and his family—they were both—they uh, were going through a time. They were starting a company of their own, so they didn't have the time and leisure to go help Papa with some of his daily tasks he needed, which was, you know, grocery shopping, house help, and the assistance we do provide. So Andrew just saw, met a neighborhood kid that lived a few doors down from Papa. And offered him, you know, to pay him part-time money to go help his grandfather, and that's where the idea of birth was. Wow, I'm really onto something. Papa not only is getting, you know, his task done, he's enjoying this experience. Now, and I don't. Maybe I should know this. Is your company now all over the country, or just really in Florida? No. So currently, we are just in Florida. But come 2019, we plan to expand to uh, eight states. I can imagine it would be a very smart thing. And so um, are you going to, is this going to be a stock company? Because I could buy some stock in your company. I got to tell you, I think it's a winner. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, well, that's awesome. Thank you. I, right now, it's a little too soon to tell, but we'll see. Yeah, no, it's a, I have to just tell you, I don't know of another company like yours. I am just so fascinated by it. So I see where you do technology. So let's say that I had a problem with my computer. I'd have to pay a lot more than $15 to get someone to come and help me. Are they actually, what are they helping with a computer? So with the computer, really what they do, they have general knowledge as anyone does, you know, growing up in this generation. So uh, some of the, I guess maybe the best way to describe is some things that we've had them do. Uh, they'll help set up your computer, load basic programming, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, um, possibly we did have someone at one point um, who wanted all of her like life memos typed up. So they went through and helped her type that up. We also had one woman once who did a lot of videography and wanted help just compiling it into one video. So they helped her set up this video. Um, then as far as like Skyping the other grandkids or Skyping their family members, we can help set up FaceTime and just going through your phone. Um, so any type of just basic uh, technology. I am drooling. <laughs> it, is <so> good. <laughs> it is just, that is lovely because, you know, that's one of the things that an older adult, even younger adults can't get all that tech on the uh, computer. And of course, I've always seen that the college kids, they just do it, even the younger kids in high school. So that's really, and I guess you know the ones to send who are the highest tech, right? Yeah, so I... I like, like um, that it, it's, excuse me, <laughs> it is specified in the task exactly what it is. So we do pre, uh, preface each task, and then the proper student does accept it. Okay, well, let me just tell everybody, remember, this is Pencil Talk Radio, and we're going to give you the phone number. Just get your pencils right. It's 877-394-3598. And again, I'll repeat that. 877 877- Three nine four three five nine eight, and on the web, it's joinpapa.com, Then put a forward slash in Boomer. We want uh, everyone to really take a shot at that. You know, even if you want to try it. Now, do you have a minimum time that that is it four hours uh, or is no? It, just just one hour minimum. One hour minimum. That is amazing. Oh, but must be working. I think what you're looking at is. People can't do very much in one hour, so it probably goes to two hours or goes a little bit longer. But, see, right now there are a lot of elders who do need help, but they really don't have the money to go to a home health agency, and so they haven't gotten the help. But here comes along Papa, where they can then have someone help them, take them to the senior center, take them to the movies, take them shopping, come into their house, and uh, who knows what else that uh, they'll help them with. 
I was thinking about something else. What if they wanted to travel? You know, let's say it's a spring break or something, and they want to travel to go to see their family, but they need someone to ride with them on the plane and all. I mean, have you ever had that happen? Um, so we, we actually haven't had any cross-country traveling just yet, um, but we do have um, a lot of cross-state stuff, um, like the wedding I referenced that was several hours out of the way. So depending on, uh, you know, the distances, we do have, you know, I, I don't know if you're familiar with, like, the Western area, the Cleveland Clinic, very renowned hospital. Um, so we do have all around Florida a lot of um, seniors requesting rides there. So we do do uh, quite a far distance at times. They advertise no. with us. Yes, I do know Cleveland Clinic. They're fantastic, okay. right? Oh, yeah. But uh, so so that's a good idea. So if someone lives in Miami and they want to visit someone up in West Palm Beach, this person will, of course, charge for the gas, but they'll drive them, and then they'll either wait for them or they'll go into the party, whatever they're trying to do. And so uh, and what usually are the uh, – what's your ratio of male to female right now? I don't mean um, – I yeah, mean, no, it really, it, it really does depend on kind of our, our you know, our, where we are located, but it is a pretty, it's pretty split. Really? So young men like this as well as young women? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's just so good. And so are there special, um, are there special rules or regulations that you, uh, that you give to the people who are working for you? Anything that's unusual? I mean, I guess they... If there is so, a, go ahead. So there is not, they're, they're, they're not bound to any constraints because, you know, they are, they do this uh, out of their choice. So what we do, we do connect them through a platform, um, but essentially we do give them guidelines of, and suggestions. Um, we do not touch anywhere in the home health care space. That means, you know, any type of like bodily or um, help, you know, cleaning or any, any, anything of that sort. It's much more focused on a companionship transportation and a socialization um so just given by those certain guidelines it is um it is very uh constructed out that way yeah and i see that i was as you were speaking i was thinking of so many different um, requirements and things that you that people need and yet they don't know who to turn to they turn to a neighbor and that's not good because as one ages as you know it's very difficult to find neighbors who will be able to help them because they themselves are having problems. But I could picture a young, just a student coming in and being very enthusiastic and very talkative. And this person will really grow to enjoy being with them. And at $15 an hour, for heaven's sakes, that's nothing. It's, uh, it's just delightful. So have you ever taken care? Have you ever been involved in this yourself? Yeah, so actually I have done... Um we joked about it, you know, it's kind of like a, a own little in-house thing. You have to do a visit. So I, I've done a couple of visits myself, and uh, it, it is it is fun. Yeah, I think that's a very good thing for anyone that works for you. You should do that just so they get the feeling of what it's like. Right. Well, um, there's a couple more questions that I have because, uh, as you can see, I am extremely impressed with what Papa has done. Grandkids on Demand, great name. I mean, you know, whoever your your friend, you know, your friend, of course. How did you meet him? How did he get you involved? Who's that? Uh, through Andrew? Yeah. So Andrew, actually, we got connected through a mutual friend, uh, someone that had worked under Andrew in the past, um, and just one thing led to another. And and you said, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this, right? So exactly. Do you? Is this? A, do you work from nine to five? I mean, is this a seven days a week? Uh, so our office hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., seven days a week. Um, I, myself, am not always uh, online during those times, but, I, I mean, at any given time, if someone wanted to call and speak with me personally, I'd gladly take that. So, in essence, the way to make this connection, do they, if they want someone the next day, is that too soon, or do they have to give you a few days? So how does that work? So we do just ask 24 hours in order to schedule them. Okay, 24 hours. Well, I'm, um, it's funny, when my husband had to give up driving, I mean, he just, he was still driving, but I could see it wasn't safe. I had to find a driver who would take him everywhere, and he didn't mind as long as he had someone, because that's the big, you know, the biggest problem with an older adult is when they have to give up driving. They lose their, of course, 
you know, their independence. It's it's very hard. But they have to find a driver, and that's not easy to do. So now with Papa, it's like having your own personal driver, your own personal assistant to take you to the grocery store, for women to go to get their hair done, all the little things that uh, that they can't do anymore. Right. I mean, I know you realize how important this is. You can see I am enthusiastic about Papa, grandkids on demand. You know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Louise Lord was overwhelmed when I told her about it because she really was having a lot of problems. And uh, and I said, listen, I have this company that I know about, and you ought to call them. And and uh, and she has five adult children herself, so she loves kids. And, and I know that this was a godsend for her. She It gave her so much um, so much independence because she actually was trying to get one of her kids to move down here to do this for her. And so now if she has someone like this, it's it's perfect. So really, I am just so, so thrilled with you. I hope that we really are pleasing you with what we're doing. And you are certainly pleasing us for our readers and our radio listeners at Austin. Awesome. Well, thanks, Nita. Uh, if anyone ever has questions, just reach out to us. I always would be happy to help. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, we'll get back to you again, but we thank you for being on our radio show and uh, the September issues being worked on right now. Okay, amazing. Okay. We look forward to seeing that. Yeah, thank you so much, Austin. Bye. All right, okay. Bye-bye.